And this is why Iman actually means faith and conviction. And faith and conviction comes with Aman. If you notice the root words are the same, you know, you see the A, Ma and the Na in both of them. So Iman and Aman, they, they are very closely connected. If you believe correctly, you will be not only a promoter of true peace and harmony, but you will achieve inner and outer peace. And this is something that we really need to learn. So we will never be able to teach people goodness if we ourselves are very violent. You see, people turn away from Islam, for example, because they think that what's happening on the globe is Islamic teachings. But we are here in order to clarify that that is not Islam. In Sierra Leone, Muslims have existed from a long, long time. They make up perhaps a large percentage of the population. Where is the violence and so on that Islam teaches supposedly? Yet we've been living in harmony for so long. All we are trying to do is to preserve what we have because there are elements of mischief who will keep on coming and trying their luck. We will never allow them to succeed because we would like to preserve the, the goodness of this respect. So this is as far as the question on security and stability and what it would do for us uh, actually goes.